So there, good day to you traders and welcome to this week's edition of Weekly Forest Forecast. As usual on Weekly Forest Forecast, we treat, we run through asset updates on over 49 charts, including forest pairs, indices, commodities, metals, cryptos, and more. As usual on this channel, on weekends, we do Weekly Forest Forecast. And then Monday through Fridays, we give daily asset updates and new trade setups on up to seven charts. Last but not least, in the description of this video, you will see a timestamp for this video so you can run through to the assets you are more interested in. It's available there in the description of this video. So take care and have a nice time. See you later. Bye. On euro dollar for this week, euro dollar has been on this aggressive diamond momentum upside. So this week, we want to watch it give us any form of corrective structure here for it to resume this diamond momentum upside. We we'll watch for correction to start this week. So if we zoom to a four hour time frame on euro dollar, on the four hour time frame, we we'll see it's starting to start the correcting correction we expect it to give us here. We expect it to drop back, especially to this trend line level, give us B complete it to C and then take off back upside. So we want to watch out for this correction this week on Euro dollar. We also go to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame we see they dropped they got this correction here. We watch this to drop more downside before to resume this back upside. We expect this correction to take place this week on Euro dollar. So we want to watch out for them as they develop corrections downside before the buy upside will continue. So we want to watch out for that this week. On pound dollar for this week, pound dollar gave us this die momentum upside this week. So we want to watch to see if it is giving us a move similar in length with this. So we expect it to come back, continue this climb upside this week to tag this trend line, and then we'll see if it will completely flat and then drop back to make it A, B, C. Form of buy so the upside will come through. So if we zoom to far time frame on pound dollar. On the 4-hour time frame, we want to watch this. It is yet to give us a correction on the 4-hour, so we'll watch for it to give us sideways correction here. For it to resume this climb upside, we we'll to watch out for a small corrective structure here to resume this guy upside. So what we want to watch out for this week on pound dollar. Resume to 1-hour time frame on the 1-hour time frame. You see it give us this drop and it spikes back up. So we'll watch for it, potential running flat. On it for it to resume back this climb. Aussie dollar for this week. Aussie dollar gave us this buy momentum this week. So we want to watch it continue. First, we expect it to give us correction and then continue this buy momentum upside. We expect more upside to come through on Aussie dollar. So if we zoom to far time frame, on the far time frame, we saw they give us an attempt at a correction here. They give us this contracting flat here and continue this buy. The issue with that being contracting flat is that can potentially give us another wave down. This can be a goal be completely running the flat we see and then resume this climb upside. We spend more buys to come through this week on those dollars. So we want to look out for that. If we zoom to one hour time frame also, on the one hour time frame, as you can see, it is giving us correction here, which could mean more drops are coming through to make this a B, C, before the bear outside we continue. So we want to watch out for that. On New Zealand dollar for this week, New Zealand dollar gave this die momentum this week. So we expect it to give us correction here and resume this die momentum outside. So to expect for New Zealand dollar for this week. So if we zoom to four hour time frame on the New Zealand dollar, on the four hour time frame, we saw They've been climbing here. We expected them to correct here. They failed to give us this correction to resume and spiked up straight, which means the correction will still come later before they resume this bad momentum upside. We zoom to the one hour time frame to look at that better. On the one hour time frame, they dropped here. We expected them to give us a flat here. They failed to give us this flat. They resume upside, which could mean they will give us a flat here before they resume this bad momentum. So we want to watch out for. This correction here for continuation of this bear momentum upside. As on 
dollar swiss for this week dollar swiss has been on this aggressive downside throughout this past week so we want to watch them give us any form of correction this week and continue more shares to the downside so to expect from dollar swiss so if we zoom to far time frame on the far time frame we saw that they give us this corrective structure here and they dropped so watch for another correction here potentially a bigger one and more drops to the downside so to watch out for on dollar series for this week so first reason to the one hour time frame too I want to also watch out for that as well right now they are correcting back upside the one generally was this correction upside before they resume the dropping downside pause so I want to watch out for potentially running flat here for more sales to the downside to control on dollar yen for this week, dollar yen has been on this aggressive sell off to the downside, which confirms that this A, B, C was a correction. Was so right now we want to watch them. They are coming to tag that low. We want to watch them give us correction here, any form of correction for the final push down to tag this low and continue downside with sales. So we want to watch out for these sales this week on dollar yen. We zoom to four hour time frame on the four hour time frame. We saw they gave this flat structure here and dropped, gave this correction, dropped. So we watch for another of that correction here and for that drop into the downside. So we want to watch out for on dollar yen. So we want to look out for that. We zoom to one hour time frame as well. On the one hour time frame, we see we see this divide. On dollar card for this week, dollar card has been in this correction this past week. It dropped and it's climbed back upside. So right now, I want to see this as B wave. Once it starts this stop, we're expecting to drop once more to complete this flat structure for us. Before we see if they will resume this M with one more retest, four bigger sales will come through for us to so the downside. So if we zoom to Four hour time frame on dollar card. On the four hour time frame, you see this as B wave upside. They gave this climb, they corrected here, they gave another climb, they are correcting. Watch them this climb, expected to tag this top and drop back down with sales. So watch out for this here after this retest of this top this coming week on dollar card. We zoom to one hour time frame. We want to watch out for that. They are climbing back up slowly here. They are collecting here they give one more spike to tag this top after tagging that top we expect on euro pound for this week euro pound has been on this correction for a while it's starting the correction we expect them to be in this correction for a while before they resume this climb upside for us on euro pound we expect more side to control after this correction so if we zoom to far time frame to look at the correction on the far time frame they dropped from here down, corrected upside. They are dropping right now. They can give us a flat structure here and then drop more for the resume back the climb upside. So I want to allow this correction completely safe for we'll getting to more buys on Euro Pound. Resume to one hour time frame as well. I want to watch out for that. For more drops, tag this low. Potential completion of the flat and then more drops to the downside to come through for us for the bad we resume. On Euro Swiss for this week, Euro Swiss has been on this dropping, it has been dropping for this past week. It's corrected upside last week, this week is dropping. So this coming week, we expect it to climb back upside to give us a flat here. And one more retest of this low before the big bad we expect to start to start for us to the upside. So we want to watch out for this correction this week at this income we zoom to the far time frame on the far time frame we saw they give us this structure upside abc and it drops down so we expect another abc upside again to make this a flat and one more drop it tells this low before the big bear we expect will come true for us so if we zoom to one hour time frame this week on the one hour time frame, we want to watch this. Might still give this more flat, retest this low before. 
on euro yen for this week euro yen has been in this sideways structure for a while and right now we are seeing this as a b c complete flat a contracting flat and then we expect this to continue downside to raise this loop so if we zoom to far time frame on euro yen to look at that on the far time frame we see this as a complete correction for now a b c but this this a drop has been going down slowly which could mean one thing that the c is not yet over it can give us one more spike back up to retest this top to make this the c it's not the a b c but this climb is unlikely i don't expect that climb we expect that this coming week they will drop down more aggressively on euro yen so we want to watch out for that if we zoom to one hour time frame we want to look out for sales on euro z for this week euro z has been on this sideways correction for the past one week so we expect them to complete this flood they are attempting to make and resume the climb upside we zoom to far hour time frame to see that better when the far hour time frame on euro z we saw the view of this A wave correction downside and they return with B wave upside. So we want to watch them drop back down this week with a C wave, tag this low. When they tag that low, we expect them to reverse back and give us bad momentum upside back to the weekly top where they are heading. So we want to watch out for that flat correction and more upside. If we zoom to one hour time frame on Euro Z. On the one hour time frame, we also expect the same thing here that they will either they give us the test this top or they will drop through down, tag this low. On Euro card for this week, Euro card has been on this aggressive bad momentum upside. So this week, we want to watch them give us any form of collective structure here where they resume this climb upside. So to watch out for this week on Euro card, correction and more bad momentum. So if we zoom to 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame, we saw that they gave us this flat structure here and then resume this climb. So this week, we want to watch them give us a bigger correction here and then more bad momentum to come through for us. So we want to watch this drop to see if it is the start of this bigger correction we expect from middle card. We zoom to 1 hour time frame as well. So we want to watch out for that. This dropping can be the start of big correction on Euro card. So I want to watch out for it this week. Bigger correction and more buys upside. So to expect from Euro card. On Euro New Zealand for this week, Euro New Zealand has been on this sideways structure and we expect them to continue this sideways for a while before they resume this climb upside. They are climbing to retest the weekly top. So right now, I want to watch them collect here before they resume that climb. We zoom to the four-hour time frame on Euro New Zealand. On the four-hour time frame, we see that they are giving us this A wave down. They give us this correction. We expect them to drop more to the downside to make this A, B, C, and from which we expect them to resume the buy upside on Euro New Zealand. So we want to watch out for that. We zoom to one-hour time frame. On the one-hour time frame, we watch this drop right now we're starting to correct here and drop more similar to this a wave we're starting the p wave to come through here before they resume upside for us with that momentum so between monday and tuesday we'll watch out for this move and then when is the on pound swiss for this week pound swiss has given us this impulse they gave us correction and they have dropped with for this impulse right now so we're starting to resume a climb upside back upside that is one option or if they are going to continue to raise this low they have to give us a bigger correction here they have to start a correction here that is bigger than this here to confirm for us that they are coming back to tag this low so we want to watch out for one of those two this week we zoom to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we saw they give this corrective structure here and dropped they are coming back upside so we want to watch this correction and go with the best option of of the bear. This is what we want to watch out for today. On point so if we zoom to one hour time frame, we see that there is divergence here. We test us that at least the correction is incoming. 
from pound yen for this week pound yen has been on this aggressive drop to the downside so this week is that is attempting to start sideways correction here which means more downside is incoming although it, it can reverse back upside from here as this is the complete a b c pattern so if we zoom to far time frame on the far time frame on pound yen you see that there's divergence on the power time frame which tells us that this can be start of a bigger correction upside as this is its own flat so we want to watch out for this we look out for that opportunity this week on pound yen for correction for more drops so the downside will come true for us if we zoom to one hour time frame on one hour time frame look at this right now it's sluggish which means one more retest downside on pound Z for today, pound for this week, pound Z has been climbing back upside. So we want to believe this is attempting a flat here for more drops to the downside. As we expect this A, B, C to run through for the retest of the upside will come through for us. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame on pound Z, on the four hour time frame, we want to watch this climb. We expect it to turn at any point downside for us. So we want to look out for sale opportunity on pound dozy. We zoom to one hour time frame on pound dozy for this week. On the one hour time frame, we want to watch out for this. We expect it to turn as the divergence is already confirming for us. So at any moment, we expect this to give us sales back downside. We just want to watch out for towards this loop on pound dozy for this week. We are looking out for these sales. So we want to watch out for them as they develop this week. Sales, sales, sales back downside. On pound us on pound card for this week. Pound card gave us this A B C structure right now. That's a complete flat. So ideally we want to watch out for sell opportunities back down side. This is trade we want to watch out for on pound card. So if we zoom to far time frame, we want to look out for turning opportunities on this chart. As we saw here. They attempted to return back here and they spiked up so they may give us correction here continue this spike upside a bit slowly and then turn for us we're only looking for sales on bank card as that's a complete flat we zoom to one hour time frame also we want to watch out for the turning as well this can give a flat here give one more retest upside and then give us a set we are only interested in set on bank card so we want to watch out for this sales as they develop this week Watch out for sale opportunities back downside on Pound Card. On Pound New Zealand for this week, Pound New Zealand has been on this this upside, ag aggressive upside. We expect them to correct here and then drop more. So they leave give us this wave down. They are afraid to give us that wave. So we expect the flat here and the more drops to come through for us to the downside. So if we zoom to Far time frame on pound New Zealand. On the far time frame, we see they are giving them this A, B, C, which should be a correction, and then we expect them to drop more to the downside. We are looking out for this sales this week on pound New Zealand. We zoom to one hour time frame, we want to watch out for that as well. Once they complete this A, B, C structure, we expect it to give us a flat here and complete it with a spike to tag this top, and then watch for sales reverse back downside. So we are interested in this sales this week on Pound New Zealand. So we ignore this. Aussie Swiss for this week. Aussie Swiss gave us this correction last week and dropped back down. So this week we will see watch for them to give us the C wave. As we see this as A wave, they drop for B. They will give us C and continue more to the downside before the big buy upside will start for us. We expect big buy to come through, but they are not yet ready for that bet. If we zoom to the far time frame on Aussie Swiss, on the far time frame, we saw they give us this corrective A, B, C, and they drop down. So watch them give us another A, B, C again, then drop, make both of them running flat. We are particularly interested for the reverse outside. This is the bet we are interested in after this flat is complete. If we zoom to one hour time frame on Aussie Swiss, we want to watch for that structure back upside and then the retest of the loop 
on Ozzy Yen for this week. Ozzy Yen this past week gave us correction upside and dropped back down. So we want to watch them at present. They are giving us a flat structure. We expect it to complete the flat, drop once more to the downside before the buy upside will start. We zoom to 4 hour time frame on Ozzy Yen. On the 4 hour time frame, we want to watch out for that as well. We expect it to correct here, drop, and then give us this wave. They give this A. They will expect it to complete the B. Spike back up for C. If final impulse down and reverse the upside for us on Ozzy Yen. So we want to watch out for this as it developed this week. We zoom to 1 hour time frame. We also look out for that. This presently a set setup down to tag this low. Once they tag that low, they will give us this wave. We test the low and then come back for us with the upside. And on Aussie card for this week, Aussie card this week gave us this buy momentum upside. This week we're starting to give some form of correction and resume this buy upside. It's what to expect from Aussie card. So if we zoom to far time frame, on the far time frame we saw they gave us this deep correction here we expect that at, at any moment they will complete it running flat and then resume the buy upside so we expect more buy to come through this week on Aussie card after completion of this correction resume to one hour time frame as well on Aussie card on the one hour time frame we see the divergence between the MACD and the chart so we expect that the this a, B, C is we complete itself before more buys upside will come through for us on Aussie card. So we want to watch out for that as it developed this week on Aussie card. On Aussie New Zealand for this week, Aussie New Zealand gave us this A, B, C correction right now. We expect that they have this drop that is starting to come and tag this low and even this low. Before the big up move we are interested in, we start on us in New Zealand. So, if we zoom to far time frame, we want to watch that this dropped, gave correction here, dropped, is correcting here. Once it's through this correction, we expect it to drop, correct here once more too, and then give us this push to the downside. So, to expect from us in New Zealand, if we zoom to one hour time frame. On the one I want to watch out for that as well. This is a complete flash right now. We're expecting to drop, break this through this trend, correct here, continue the drop to our falls to the downside. This is what I want to watch out for on Aussie New Zealand this week. More sales to the downside to come through for us. On Swiss Yen for this week, Swiss Yen is presently in this sideways correction here. Once they're through this sideways this correction, we're expecting to give us complete this flash structure and drop more to the downside for us. So if we zoom to 4 hour time frame on Swiss Yen, on the 4 hour time frame, we see that they gave us this drop and this correction. So right now we want to watch them drop down, tag this low, complete this structure, A, B, C, drop, and make this A, B, C, and then put the give us this uh, downside. So this we want to watch for this small sell and this big buy. If we zoom to 1 hour time frame, on Swiss Yen, I want to watch out for that first correction. Expect this to drop down to tag this loop. So I want to watch out for first before it will reverse back upside for this week. On Cardian for this week, Cardian dropped and tagged this loop with this dropping, impulsive drop he has been dropping. So this week we expect them to give us correction as they have tagged that low. We expect them to give us correction here before they resume the dropping to the downside. So we want to watch the correction start this week on Cardian. We zoom to 4 hour time frame on Cardian. On the 4 hour time frame, we want to watch for that reversal to start at any moment upside before more drops to the downside will come through for us. So I want to watch out for Cardian. We zoom to one hour time frame on Cardian as well. On the one hour time frame, we already see the divergence between the MACD and the chart. So we expect this correction might drop once and then it will bounce back upside for us with time momentum before it will resume the set. 
on card Swiss for this week. Card Swiss for this past week has been on this aggressive drop. So this week we expect it to start sideways correction where to resume drop into the downside. It's what to expect from card Swiss this week correction. Resume to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, you see it has started the upside correction. Expect them to continue this correction upside before they will drop once more. Give us a flat here and then drop more to the downside. So to expect from card Swiss for this week. Resume to one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we want to watch out for that as well. We got this up move, expect them to correct here. Pause and then resume the drop into the downside. This is what we want to expect this week from card in, card Swiss. So we want to watch out for this as it develops this week. Cards with more sales to come through. And New Zealand Swiss for this week. New Zealand Swiss has been on this aggressive drop this week. It gives correction here, dropped. So we expect them to give us bigger correction here for more drops to the downside to come through. To resume to the far time frame on New Zealand Swiss. On the far time frame, we want to watch out for that. After the side this correction, they give this drop. So right now, I want to watch them give us another correction here for one more drop before this big upside correction on New Zealand Swiss will start for us. So I want to watch out first for this drop downside. But the bigger wave upside will come through for us on New Zealand Swiss as well. You see that it's divergent. So I want to watch out for that. If we zoom to one hour time frame, watch for one more drop down before the big upside move will start. On New Zealand Swiss this week, so we want to watch out for. On New Zealand yen for this week, New Zealand yen this past week has been on this sideways correction right now. We want to watch them complete this flat and drop to tag this low and drop beyond that pause. So we want to watch out for that this week. We zoom to far time frame to look at that on the far time frame. We saw they gave us this. A wave correction upside, and they are dropping with B wave down. Once they tag this, they will see that there is divergence already. Expect them to give us one more upside pause, or this will be the upside correction before more drops to come through for us in the downside. And this is correction, the final move down. So, want to watch out for that. We zoom to one hour time frame. On New Zealand yen, on one hour time frame, this looks like a flat structure. So we expect one more drop down, tag the loop. On New Zealand card for this week, New Zealand card this past week has been this aggressive buy momentum upside. This week we expect them to give us correction here before they resume this climb upside. So we want to watch out for this week. Correction and more buys to come through if we zoom to the far time frame on New Zealand card. On the far time frame, we expect this. It's attempting to start correcting here. Expect a bigger correction here before more bad upside will come true. So we want to watch out for this correction this week. We also listen to the one hour time frame on New Zealand card. On the one hour time frame, we we'll watch out for that as well. This can be the start of that correction downside before it will resume the climb upside. So we want to watch out for this correction as it develops this week on New Zealand card. Corrections for more bears. So, we want to look out for that correction this week on New Zealand card. On goals for this week, what has been on this sideways correction right now? Last week gave this drop A wave. It has given us up spell back B wave. Right now, we expect it to drop back, tag this low, make this a running flat, and then resume the bear upside. To the monthly top. So if we, if we zoom to four hour time frame on gold, on the four hour time frame, we expect this whatever it can give us this ABC, give one more retest before the C wave downside will come forward. We expect this sales to come through this week to complete this flat before it will resume upside. We also zoom to one hour time frame on gold. I want to watch out for that. We're interested in sales. So if it pays to give us, if you give us sell, I want to watch it once it tag this too for potential retest. 
on silver for this week, silver has been on this corrective climb upside A wave. I want to watch for it to drop for B, climb back up for C, complete this flat and drop more. As you see, this has A wave, this has B wave, they said to give us C wave for it to resume the bad momentum upside. So I want to watch out for that. If we zoom to 4 hour time frame on silver, on 4 hour time frame, we are watching right now. We expect them to drop, we expect this to collect and give us a downside to tag this low for B wave. Also, there's the possibility of this giving us one more retest of this stock before it will come down for us with sell. So this week we also watch out for sales on silver back to this loop. We zoom to one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we want to watch out for that sell back down to this loop. It's what we want to watch out for. Although this can retest here. On palladium for this week. Palladium has been on this drop on the daily, it has been correcting here. It dropped initially, it's correcting right now. We expect it to resume this drop to the downside. So if we zoom to far time frame, on the far time frame of palladium, we see they give us this A, B, C running flat. So right now, I want to expect them to complete the correction here and drop more to the downside for us. So watch out for these drops. On palladium for this week. If we zoom to one hour time frame, I swear I want to watch out for that too. We expect this to give us A, B, C flat and then drop more to the downside. It's what I want to watch out for. More sales to come through this week on palladium. So I want to watch out for those sales as we develop this week on palladium. Platinum for this week. Platinum. For the past week, gave this climb back upside. I want to watch as is right now. We are looking at this as correction upside before it will resume the drop into the downside. So if we zoom to power time frame on platinum, on the power time frame, we saw they gave us this impulse, they gave this ABC correction, and they gave another impulse. I want to watch for more corrections and one more climb upside before it will reverse for sales to the downside. So this week, we watch for this correction and one more spike. So to watch out for on platinum. If we zoom to one hour time frame on platinum. On the one hour time frame, we want to watch this. This give us a flat here, one more spike up, and then deep correction for one more retest of this top. But to give us set to the downside. So we want to watch out for this this week on platinum. Copper for this week. Copper has been in this sideways A, B, C. For some days, and we believe that correction is complete, so we expect this to drop, drop down. Although it's it's giving signs of divergence, first we look out for these sales this week. If we zoom to far time frame, on the far time frame, they gave us this drop. They started they corrected here, they dropped. So there's the potential for another for this to become a running flat, and then more drops to the downside. So we want to watch out for this sale that we. Develop this week on copper. We expect this sell and more sales to come through. So, we want to look out for them. If we zoom to one hour time frame, on the one hour time frame, we got this ABC correction on drops. Right now, there's potential for another ABC for more drops to the downside. So, we want to watch out for this sell this week on copper. So, we'll look out for that sell today. On US crude oil for this week, US crude oil. Earlier in the week, gave this correction and dropped down. So this week, we we'll watch them give another correction here to make this a running flat and drop more to the downside. So to expect from US crude oil, we zoom to the four-hour time frame. On the four-hour time frame, we expect another. You can see the divergence here. So we expect another corrective climb upside to make this a running flat. For it to give us final retest of the weekly low and then give us bad momentum upside. So we want to watch out for this this week on US crude oil. We also zoom to one hour time frame. On one hour time frame, we want to watch out for that as well. Correction upside to complete this running flat and then more sales to the downside for us for this week. This is what we want to watch out for on US crude oil.
on UK Brent Oil for this week, UK Brent Oil has been last earlier this week gave this correction upside and is dropping right now. So watch for potential return back up to make this a running flat and then resume the dropping as we already see that there's divergence on the chart. So if we zoom to four hour time frame on UK Brent Oil, on the four hour time frame we want to watch for potential return back upside as this divergence is confirming for us to make this a running flat and then give one more retest of the weekly low before they will start the time momentum upside for us. So I want to watch out for this this week on UK oil. If we zoom to one hour time frame on Brent, on the one hour time frame we want to watch that as well. This is more flat for one more drop down before they give us this climb upside to complete this running flat and then drop once more down and then we start to climb for us. On natural gas for this week, natural gas has has been dropping. It gave this correction this past week and is dropping back down right now. Watch for a potential flat structure here for the final drop to retain the weekly low and then to come back for us with that momentum upside. So I want to watch out for that. If we zoom to four hour time frame on natural gas on the four hour time frame, I want to watch for this to correct here, drop, tag this low and give us reverse upside to make this running flat and then continue its way to the weekly low is what we expect this week on natural gas if we zoom to one hour time frame as we want to watch out for that potential this can be a smaller running flat for this drop down to tag this low and then it will collectively climb back upside make that a running flat and drop one small downside on dollar index for this week dollar index gave this has been dropping aggressively so this week we want to watch them give us a corrective pattern here before they resume this dropping for us we expect more corrections to come through this week on dollar index we zoom to four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we want to watch for this correction they are attempting to start here once they are through the correction we expect more drops downside to come through for us we expect correction first on dollar index this week, we zoom to one hour time frame. I want to watch out for that as well. Corrections is what we expect to uh, they expect them to give us here. Correction before more drops to the downside we resume. So I want to watch out for this this week. On dollar index, correction and more sales to come true. On US thirty Dow Jones for this week, Dow Jones gave us this. Correction upside this past week and is dropping back down. We expect they are attempting to give us a flat structure here before they resume the dropping to the downside. So we want to watch out for that this week. We zoom to the four hour time frame on Dow Jones on the four hour. They give this A wave. They are attempting to give us B wave down, but they will give us C for more sales. So we want to watch out for that this week. We zoom to one hour time frame on Dow Jones on the one hour time frame. We want to watch out for. You can correct here a bit and then drop to tag this low. So we want to watch out for that spike back up before the sales downside will come through as we expect this to go this sideways flat here. So we want to watch out for that this week. Correction up, drop, spike up, drop. So we want to watch out for this week on US 30 Dow Jones. On US 500 for this week, S and P 500. You see that they give us this A wave upside. They are dropping right now for B wave. We expect them to spike back up, complete this flat structure, and then resume the set to the downside. So if we zoom to the four hour time frame on US 500, on the four hour time frame, we see they give this A wave. So right now, I want to watch for potential only flat here, and then one more drop down to tag this low before they give us this reversal upside to complete this flat structure. And then come through for us with sales to the downside. So what we want to watch out for this week. For us into the one hour time frame on US 500 as well. We want to watch out for that corrective climb back upside here. One more drop to tag this low and then give us a C wave. As we look, we are looking at this as the B wave. Before it will resume the sale downside. So we want to watch out for this this week on US 500. 
When you S100 Nasdaq for this week, Nasdaq gave this correction earlier this week and is dropping. So right now I want to watch them correct drop tag this low, reverse black upside here, and then complete the flat and then give us sales, more sales to the downside. So we want to watch out for that please into the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we want to watch out for this a wave. We expect this to give us this running flat here. Drop back down, tag this low, reverse back upside, complete this flat structure, and give us more sales to the downside. So we want to watch out for this this week. On US on the Nasdaq, we zoom to one hour time frame. Also want to watch out for that correction, climb upside, drop down, tag the low, reverse back up, and resume the same momentum for us. This is what we want to watch out for this week on US 100 Nasdaq. So be on, on Euro 15 index for this week, Euro 15 index gave this correction, climb upside, and right now it has dropped down. I want to watch for another correction upside to make them running flat before it resume the drop to the downside. Resume to the far time frame. On the far time frame, we watch this correction. We expect it to give us a similar correction as the divergence is confirming for us. That this correction is incoming before it resume this drop to the downside. So we want to watch out for that. We zoom to one hour time frame. We watch out for this spike upside to give us this running flat for it to resume the drop to the downside for us. So we want to watch out for this on Euro 50 this week. Correction upside before more sales will come through for us to the downside. So we want to look out for that as it develops this week. On German 30 DAX for this week, German 30 has millennia this week gave us this correction upside. It has dropped. We, we expect it to give us another correction for more drops to the downside. So if we zoom to the far time frame on German 30, on the far time frame, we want to watch for that as well. Correction upside to make this running flat drop once more to the downside. Where to, where to give us bigger correction for bigger drops to the downside. If we zoom to the one hour time frame on German 30, on the one hour time frame, see that there is divergence between the bottoms and the chart and the bottoms of the MACD. So which means this this correction is seen coming to complete this running flat for us before more steps will come through to the downside. So we want to watch out for that this week. Expect it to spike back up, tag this top and then give us sales downside this week on German 30 DAX. So we want to watch out for that as it develops this week. And on UK 100 index for this week, earlier this past week they gave this correction upside and they dropped down. We expect another correction upside to complete this running flat and then more drops to the downside. So what to expect from UK 100. So if we zoom to a far time frame, on the far time frame we see that there is a divergence on the MACD. We tell us that after this, after this climb, they will give us a similar climb here yeah, to make this running flat and then drop for us to the downside so we want to look watch out for that we zoom to one hour time frame on the one hour time frame we want to watch for that spike back upside to start at any moment back up before it will give us sell to the downside so we expect this to give us a flat structure so we want to watch out for this sales after this climb back upside on UK 100 so we want to watch out for this week so join this job expecting on Japan 225 Nikkei for this week, last week they gave us this correction upside. This week we expect another correction upside to make a running platform and more drop will come through for us to the downside. So if we zoom to 4 hour time frame on Nikkei, on the 4 hour time frame, so they gave us this A wave and they've been dropping for B. So right now we expect it to spike back up for C, complete this running flat, and then give us more sales to the downside. As this divergence confirms for us. So if we zoom to one hour time frame on Nikkei for this week, on the one hour time frame, we want to watch out for that. This looks like a potential running flat here for one more drop down before this C wave will start to the upside. So we want to watch out for this C wave to complete this sideways correction before more sales will come through for us to the downside. So we want to watch out for this this week on Nikkei. C wave and more downside. 
for India 50, Nifty for this week. Last week, India 50 gave this correction upside with a wave and dropped this week. So we expect another correction upside for more drops on the downside. But we expect they are coming to the target this low. So if we zoom to far time frame to look at that better, and the far time frame, this was a wave upside. They are giving they are giving B wave right now. After this drop, we expect C wave to make it a running flat. A B C for the resume this uh, downside and the divergence confirms for us that this C wave is incoming. So I want to watch out for that. Resume to one hour time frame on India 1550. I want to watch out for that as well. Up spike here to make this a flat and more drops to the downside to come through for us for that C wave access downside. So I want to watch out for this this week on India 1550. On Bitcoin for this week, Bitcoin last week gave us this correction upside. So this week we want to watch for it to come and uh, elongate a bit and then drop for last structure for more sales to come through for us. We zoom to the far time frame to look at that better. Right now in the far time frame we expect that they are making another correction here for one more spike upside to make this a running flat and then we expect them to reverse back downside tag this low and then give us C wave upside as you see this as A wave we give us B wave and C wave four more sales we come through to the downside so we want to watch out for that on Bitcoin we sent to one hour time frame on Bitcoin one hour time frame we want to watch out for that right now we are looking at this correction at the moment expecting to give us this correction and one more spike upside before the reverse that downside we come through for us on Bitcoin so we want to watch out for this this week on ethereum for this week ethereum has been on this upside move so we want to watch them drop back down because the flat structure here for most drops to the downside so if we zoom to the far time frame on ethereum on the far time frame we want to watch this present correction they are making here we expect them to correct back down potentially give us one more retest to make this a running flat but they will drop back down and then give stack russell Make this a flat and drop more to the downside. So we want to watch out for that on Ethereum. We zoom to one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we look for sales so on Ethereum back down towards this trend line before they give a retest and then drop majorly to the downside. So we want to watch out for Ethereum for this week. A drop down here, yeah, similar to this, but they will give one more retest and then drop down. So we want to watch out for that on Ethereum for this. On Litecoin for this week, Litecoin has been in this corrective climb to the upside this week. So we want to watch them drop back down and potentially complete this flat for more drops to the downside before they will start to climb back up. So if we zoom to far time frame on Litecoin, on the far time frame, we see they are they gave this correction after this climb, they gave this correction and they are climbing more. So we expect them to drop back. To this trend line potentially give a retest for the drop for the b wave this is the a wave we're expecting to drop for b climb back up for c before major drops to the downside will come through so this week we want to watch out for this we zoom to one hour time frame on litecoin on the one hour time frame we want to watch this climb right now going to reverse back for sale to this trend line and then retest this the top for the comfort downside for sales so we're interested in this sales this week after it. On EOS for this week, EOS gave this. This past week has been correcting upside. This week we're expecting to correct back down. It was a flat structure here and drop more to the downside. So if we zoom to the far time frame, on EOS on the far time frame, I want to watch this correction as it is right now. As soon as A, B, C. So we expect a 10 moment for them to reverse downside for b wave to tag this loop and then we'll see if they'll give us another corrective climb upside to make the flat and for more drops to the downside to come through so we want to watch out for that if we zoom to one hour time frame on on EOS on the one hour time frame we'll watch this can give you the test of this stock before they will come back down with drop we expect them to drop back to this trend line and beyond, so what we expect this week sales on US. So, I want to watch out 
on repo for this week repo this week this pass will give this corrective claim right now so i want to watch to see if this is all the correction and if it will drop majorly to the downside for us this week so i want to watch out for this sales we zoom to far time frame on repo and the far time frame you see that it gave us this last leg you see this as a b c we expect them to drop back down right now also on the one hour time frame we also want to watch out for the same thing we expect that this is correcting right now can this can give a retest and then come back with say downside this is what we are looking for this week on repo so watch for the sales so that's it for this week have a good time see you next week for next week's edition of weekly forest forecast bye bye have a nice weekend See you.